Hey everybody, it's KJ from Metro Hobbies Toys and Games and today I'm taking a look at set number 42125. That is the Ferrari GTE 488. And wow, what an impressive build. So here we have the Ferrari GT 488 and I've you might have noticed if you've seen the box art that I have chosen not to sticker it up with all the livery. There are a lot of stickers in this set. Um, now, it's not perfectly the off-road one that I've gone with because ideally I'd want to change these parts here to red, this part here. I have chosen to give you the Ferrari sticker here and the Ferrari logo. I have looked at putting in the, they've got the stickers for inside you have the Ferrari logo on the steering, you have their little control panels, and while we're talking on steering, this is proportional steering. So, you know, if I wanna drive my Ferrari, I can definitely do that. It's probably a little bit awkward that I'm, it's not to scale, um, but <laughs> it is definitely proportional steering, and that's, that's very impressive in a build this size. Usually that's something that you might see in uh, the Lamborghini, for example, or the, the um, Bugatti. This is very similar to the um, set 42096, so that's the Porsche 911. It's about the same scale. Um, it's about the same number of pieces, and it's about the same time frame in terms of building it. Uh, this has a really nice use of the canopy piece. So this part here, it might look like that it's a sticker and I thought it might be as well, but it's not. This is a canopy piece and um, usually used for you know, a cockpit or a car, racing car like the Speed Champions used to use it and they've just done a print on it. So perhaps foreshadowing if we have some lights in there, you can actually light that up nicely and uh, it's gonna look really, really impressive. This has got some really nice part usage um, in it. It mixes both the Lego system and the Lego Technic. And you'll notice that some of those pieces are definitely built upside down in order to get the effects that's required. Um, they've got the, the engines, that actually the pistons go up and down, which is, is really, really nice. And then you've got the logo on the back and the tail piece, which I think is little mirrors, the doors open. There is a little bit of a gap, but look, on as far as value goes it's good value it is the same as look it's really great it's got the tail it's the same as the the Porsche in terms of scale it's going to look really good if you're a lover of the the Lego cars um, I can't see why you wouldn't want to to, to pick this up in fact um, you might even depending which one you want to build so if you want to build the race one it's going to look gorgeous straight out of the box but if you're wanting to look for a, an on-road one, which is what I would rather do. I'm thinking maybe I need to get some other pieces. Maybe I need to go and find and source that. Maybe I need to get another set that includes this piece so I can get that in red, make the whole thing look like it goes on road. All right, well, this is essentially, that's everything. You can actually come in store and see this set on display. It'll be in the CBD store for everyone to have a look at just how, how nice it is. A little suspension going on there. All right, everybody, that is the Ferrari GTE 488. It is beautiful. It's an excellent set. You definitely want to get to add that to your Lego car um, Technic set um, collection because you can't go without the Ferrari. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Just absolutely beautiful, really enjoyable build. And isn't that one of the most important parts of it? So all the links are in the description below. If you haven't already subscribed, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.